There are a lot of countries uh, which are uh, even in a situation like Indonesia and they are saying nothing like Turkey or whatever. Every country has some problems with some area which wants to be independent and all they are going to keep it from the uh, uh, desk because they are afraid that they will have the same problems with their areas. So my question is what, what is the next step indeed to, to get those countries also uh, uh, affected and for, for this case? The next step is the question, but uh, please, Mr. Benjamin, yes, I think the next step. Next step is uh, independent or not depend on West Papua and the change, the world is changing. World is changing. English colonizers have the world, but people of South Africa decide the free, and that is the the, the free. Uh, all the former colony free. What happening in Kosovo? What happening in South Sudan? What happening in um, in uh, Palestine case? Is people are decide to free? The, my um, I'm really confident that we will free, but. People inside already stood up and they want to free. That is the first. Second, what the next step is it depends. We free or not depend on Papua. That's why I always uh, say to Papua, come, our job now, this generation, our job now, educate the world, educate the European, educate the Dutch people to what really happening, what really going on. Why was Papua voice never come out? Why? That is the Papua now that our job to educate, to become a one voice and educate. That's why lack of information, because we don't have any journalists in West Papua, because the journalists are banned, amnesty are banned, records are banned, all are banned, so that's why it's very difficult. So we Papua and the voiceless, but we now, this technology, this advantage to bring the, our voice come out. You can see that just suggested there before, but then suddenly already here, you can see. And this is the, that's a, uh, uh, the te technology makes us everything available. So next step is depend on West Papua. This struggle is a setback or going forward is on depend on West Papua. That's why I said to all the elders and all the Papuans, uh, we need to uh, be un united voice to, to educate the, the Europeans as well as the other part of the world. And um, political level, I think the, the International Parliamentarian for West Papua, this is a channel of the educate the only parliamentarian around the world to tell people of West Papua, uh, right to self determination still exists. International lawyer for West Papua conclude that West Papua right to self determination under the international law is still exists. So that is our belief. If that or that government believe uh, the principle of the law, as they should know what happened, 1969, what happened in our history. I think that's that's why even the government line not speaking. But I hope the Dutch people from now on, please, you be our voice to to speak out, tell your government, because the Dutch government need to lead this because this is. And business, and business um, job still in West Papua. What happened in East Timor? You, you said about Indonesia. Indonesia killing hundreds of thousands of East Timor people. And that is will happening in Malukus or in West Papua next few years if the world not seeing what happening, what going on in West Papua. This is where I'm worried. That's why, you know, now our job to tell and our, all the Dutch. Uh, uh, Papuan and uh, Dutch uh, new generation uh, to please you be our voice. I think that's the next step to depend on ourselves, our Papuan to educate, to tell what really happened, what really going on in West Papua. This is very important for this is the, so we started here in this building and we will go out with the collect all the information how could we tell how could to educate the the world to know about West Papua. I think that's what we, we're going to do. Thank you.